over the last couple decades that I've been raising, training, and loving coon dogs, coon hunting, and everything about the sport, now that I got him tied out here because one of my dogs are in heat in the kennel and I don't want him to tear the kennel up, I'm going to show you some tips on how to not get your dog killed. Because I, I've definitely had a lot of dogs tied out and the ways they get loose you would never think of, but I'm going to show them to you right here. A lot of dogs will learn how to take their collar off. They'll slide it right through here and take it off. A real easy way is to put a zip tie through a hole and through the buckle. That way the collar won't be off the dog. And make sure you got your collar tight enough to it won't slide over the dog's head. You can also put a zip tie or something on your snap here so it can't come loose. I haven't done that yet, but I've done one down here. The only bad thing about it when you want to go hunting, you have to kind of cut the snap or something off or unless you keep something that twisted on there, but I keep all kinds of zip ties and stuff around. But I'll show you on this other end of the chain what I'm talking about. See this is a big heavy tootie zip tie or I don't even know what it is. It works just like a zip tie does. And I got it here. You see how this snap won't come open when it's dragging around the ground so the dog don't get loose. Now there's a couple more things that kill your dog. Make sure you have plenty of shade if you have to create it by putting a piece of wood on your box or you know, putting a tarp up here or, or something. I like to use good natural shade from trees. And the only other thing I can think about, make sure this chain can't get wrapped around trees or roots in the ground or anything. I've lost a dog like that too. Y'all, thanks for watching. This is a quick tip from Kentucky Cooner. Hope you keep your dogs safe, healthy, and alive. Until next time, put them on the wood.